I worked out at that park. Um, I did three sets of each exercise that I did, except for dips. I didn't, I want to do one more set of dips. I started to feel kind of sick and nauseous, um, lightheaded and stuff, and I felt like I was going to throw up. And I got some water and I laid in the shade and I felt better. Um, and then I was going to go to a gas station and get something to drink. I really wanted to get something to drink. And I drove off with the solar panel on the roof and fell off, went back to go look for it immediately. And I found it in the road and somebody ran it over and the connective piece to the solar panel was broken off because that's exactly what got ran over and now I gotta repair it or get a new one at some point at least I got a new battery a new alternator than the past month so it's not necessary even though it helps I guess I'll look into getting it fixed and I was gonna get more of them um, maybe more battery packs at some point but look into it when I have more money pretty annoyed but it happens I, I was I didn't feel well at all and forgot to take it off and I definitely worried about it leaving it on there a couple times but it hadn't happened yet until today now it happened the good news is I'm pretty sure solar panel technology uh, will be much more efficient in a relatively short time and uh, should the price should drop i think in the next five to ten years compared to how much solar panels generally cost right now so it is one piece of equipment that you know it breaking isn't isn't as big of a deal it's probably a hundred dollar solar panel i might be able to get it repaired for like 30 bucks and might be able to repair it myself um but if you know, I don't get another solar panel for another year, I might see a huge price drop. Another two years, I might see you know, a huge price drop. So like cell phones, it's something that is, is pretty easily replaceable. Um, and like, it's hard for me to get mad about stuff like the solar panel and stuff, because uh, like, even though my hundred, it's like a hundred dollars solar panel, it broke, pretty careless. I made a uh, buy into Chainlink yesterday and it went down like 20%. It went back up 15% from what it went down and I already made, the $200 I put in, I already made like $25 from that. So, I don't know. You take the good with the bad. I think I'm gonna pretty hungry for lunch. I think I'm gonna try the Bill Miller barbecue. I've never seen one of those. It's got a drive through. Big fan of drive throughs. Um, let's check it out. Check out some Texas barbecue. We got the brisket. Oh, oh. I feel like I just took a bite of a slice of heaven. Ooh. Just throwing something out there right now. I saw this girl at the gas station. She was wearing, she looked kind of like Harley Quinn. Like she was going to a Comic Con thing, but like maybe just that was you know, her style. Uh, very short skirt, very sexy. Gave me a business idea that I've never seen anywhere. You take these two separate businesses, 
that have similar, uh, you know, like similar things you need to watch out for and pay attention to, similar rules and regulations when you think about it. This would be a seasonal idea. Or it could be year round in certain areas. Hear me out here. Ready? A haunted house strip club. Just think about it. One of my favorite parts about doing Uber Eats deliveries is when you're delivering to a girl and it says, leave the door, and then they, when you get there, they answer the door. Gotta show the goodies. We got spaghettios. We got almond milk. My bones have been craving some milk. I haven't had much. So I've been on the road. We got some cologne spray. We got sunflower seeds. They're gonna make me poop more. I'm not having trouble pooping. Definitely not having trouble pooping. Sunflower seeds. I eat the shells and everything. Disinfectant spray. That's really what I was trying to get. What else? We get anything else? That's all we got. <laughs> 